Welcome to week five of the market research background briefings. This week is the first week where assessment is due for the subject. It's worth 10 points. It's due no later than 5 p.m. Friday. And it's your first opportunity to commit to writing so we can give you feedback and provide you some guidance for the rest of the semester. Now two things I just want to briefly mention before moving on to your expectations for the week. With regards to tutorial kit A, is it is only 10 marks. Whilst those 10 marks are important, I want you to consider in the context of how much weight that carries and the fact that we are not going to be asking an incredibly onerous amount of effort from you. It is a practice run, it's a training run. I know if I don't provide a reward, if I don't put some form of um, incentive behind it, then it's not really a fair exchange. So these 10 points are to reward you for participating in the exercise. The level of points you score, and this will be based on how well you have followed the instructions in the kit, and also how well you have brought insight and understanding, how well you've thought about the answers. You'll be doing this again for Tube Kit 2 in week 7, so we'll try and knock this out and turn it around as fast as we can on the marking. But the other piece of advice I have for you is when you finish your tutorial this week, write up your kit and submit it. Tuesday crew, Wednesday crew, Thursday crew, you're not losing anything by going early, you're gaining something, you're gaining a bit more time. Questions are done, you've had your discussion, job's done, submit it. Get it out of the way. Don't hang out till 4.30 to be still finalising the draft on a Friday. Just get it done, done early, and off the agenda. This week's required tasks are the reading of chapter 6. Now this chapter has a lot of components in it where it's doing comparisons and contrasts and doesn't come out with a really sort of clear set of judgments or decisions, partly because there aren't any in this area. Each technique that you're going to come across will be given a sort of assessment of its pros and cons, its benefits, its advantages, disadvantages, costs, etc. It becomes your job as the market researcher to make the decision. Now in reading this chapter, what I'd also like you to pay attention to is these are various techniques that are being put in front of you that you could use as the basis for your answer for the solo assignment. So please have that in mind when you are reading the chapter. For the tutorial kits, it's question, exercise question four and exercise question seven, and group discussion question number one. The group discussion question is probably the hardest of the group discussion questions you faced thus far specifically because it was supposed to be the peak moment uh, and your preparation that you've been doing in the tutorial questions to this point are leading up to a difficult final question. So you've had the warm-up, the practice and the training. Now you're going to deliver a question, an answer to a question that was quite difficult. In terms of the uh, tutorials this week, and last week, I just want to pass a couple of comments. Last week, I executed the first of the experiments. I did ask the lecturer if they would be happy for me to use Wattle's ability to distribute items unevenly so that I could assign you into different groups and I could give you different pieces of content to each group. Now, for last week, I randomly allocated the class into two groups based on Wattle just gave it a random instruction, said assigned to two groups. I presented a sample interview transcript and a sample focus group transcript. For moving on from that, I confirmed with the lecture on Friday that you're still happy for me to do this. I had confirmation that people are still happy for me to do this. As I roll through semester, I will occasionally split I won't mention that I'm splitting the cohort and giving you different tasks. The idea is with the different tasks is that 
if I have three separate readings I want people to cover, I divide the cohort into three, then I have a chance that someone's going to have covered it. In a tutorial, and you've been divided in equal groups of three, we'll be able to talk about all three because there'll be someone who will have covered it. If I ask you to read three things in a week as the semester gets uh, busier and busier, you're not going to. If I ask you to read one thing and participate, I have an improved chance of that happening. In regards to the uh, two qualitative data sets, have a look at them, have a look at both of them. Remember that one of the tasks that you will be facing in the exam and in the uh, group assignment will relate to qualitative. It is an important part of the course. There will be a quantitative component to the exam, a qualitative component to the exam, and also for the group assignment, you do have open-ended data, you do have content analysis to engage in, and it'd be a good chance for you just to get a little practice, again, a warm-up. For Friday's lecture, I am going to undertake a group assignments question ballot. Now, I've released the solo assignment and the group assignment to the Wattle site. The solo assignment is now in final version. You can rely on that to be the version to the end. Uh, if there are any questions or any further feedback you'd like me to provide or any additional information, you're going to have to ask for it. So please, in this week's tutorials, if there are any questions, write them up, hand them over to the tutor if you don't want to say it out loud, just pass this information through to us. If you want to know anything more about the solo assignment, this would be a great week to ask, so I can start preparing you additional information. For the group assignment, I released a draft version of the assignment information. That draft version contains eight questions. There will not be eight questions in the final group assignment. What I've elected to do is provide a broad range of questions which at Friday's class, using the question ballot, you will vote on your preferred question set. Now whoever is at Friday's class gets the say. For those of you who are suddenly working out that at 5pm your assessment's due and somewhere between 2 p.m. and 4 p.m. you vote on the fate of the questions in your group assignment. This wasn't deliberate. The question ballot was released last Friday and the class elected to push back the vote by a week. So this clash is unfortunate but as I have suggested that when you finish the tutorial kits just submit them. Just get them up and off your task list. Then you can come along to Friday's class. The other thing with Friday's class is I do want to show off a few techniques. I do want to actually show you some of these uh, elements that the text is talking about in very dry, well, content analysis. You could analyse content or... I want to break out some of that stuff and actually showcase and do a little more demonstration. So if you are interested in this section of the course and you do want to vote for your group assignment, you may also note that your group assignment ballot is effectively a survey questionnaire, you're putting a rank order preference. There are a whole bunch of different approaches I could have taken to this, but I will take a standard uh, one to eight. You have to fill out all the squares and you have to use the assignment ballot that I provide to you in the room. For those of you who are planning on stacking the vote, I already thought of that and prepared for that accordingly. Finally, the last thing for this week is just to remind you that we do have the assessment tasks in play. We are now in to the business end of semester. Uh, we have the first assessment due Friday. We have the second assessment a fortnight after that. We then kick into high gear with the, uh, you'll be 20 points into the semester at that point. You then have a task worth 30 coming in pretty soon after the semester break and then we're going to close out on the group assessment for the 30. The voting and other data I've been asking for, I'm pleased to say that people have been participating in the exam voting. 
That has been a very important task and I really do appreciate everyone's contribution and their commitment to the course in that respect. When that is finalised, I will publish the results and I will make final the exam requirements for this course. Uh, also, this week and next week I will start showing you the results of the Attitude to Statistics and start giving you access to that data set so you can start doing some practice analysis with it. And finally, I have a tradition of not saying good luck in an assessment task. Instead, I say good skill. I don't believe you need luck to get through this course, but I do know that you will need skill and application. Your first task is a test of that, your first task is a practice. So get it done, get it out of the way, and then we're ready to move on to some more training and then the interesting stuff. <laughs>